Hi there. Here's the deal. I recently fixed my burner by adding a different uh, blower for the forest air, and I want to test it out. I also have a bunch of extruded aluminum taking up floor space. See where this is going? I have never tried melting aluminum using the, the full blast settings that I used to melt copper with this, so I'm going to try to melt a bunch of this stuff that I've laying around from a leftover IKEA picture frame or something, and I'm going to put a clock on, on the screen so you can see how quick it goes. I've mentioned this before, but if you're new here, Extruded aluminum, not very good for casting. It's, it's pure, and you really want something with silicon in it, like normal cast aluminum. I personally use it for alloying. It's more pure, so it's, it's better. you get better uh, control over your alloy percentages. But really, if I'm honest, I'm melting it because it's taking up a lot of floor space, and it takes a lot less room stacked on a shelf in bricks. So, yeah. Plus, fire is fun. All right, I'm going to start up the grill, and I'm going to start the clock as soon as I get the burner running full blast and step away. I'm going to add one pure aluminum ingot into the mix. You can kind of see, see this is why, this is why pure aluminum is not so good. See how sunken in the middle is? Yeah, silicon makes it form better into details in the casting. Also reduces the shrinkage. This is pure, has a lot of shrinkage. Shrinkage is bad, okay? Usually, always. In many cases, shrinkage is bad, am I right? Before we started the burning, I asked a bunch of people on Instagram and on something else, YouTube, in a post or something, to guess how much all of this aluminum weighs and how long it took to melt from the moment it first started melting. So there's a spot in the video I said, it's starting to melt, and then there was a spot in the video where I started scooping the dross. At that point, the whole thing's totally melted and I'm getting ready to pour. That time period, how long was that? I got guesses all over the map uh, in weight and in, in time. Uh, but interesting to note, uh, three of the shortest guesses came from Blackbeard Projects, Tobho Mott, and Chirpy's Tinkerings. All three YouTube channels that melt a lot of metal. Makes you think. Hmm? Stay tuned to the end to see who won uh, the no prizes. And yes, there's a lot of snow on the ground. Trying to do this over the driest patch. Sometimes you gotta make do with the weather you get. You jerk winter. Okay, don't know how much gas I have left, but it's not a lot. I have to change tanks halfway through, which will screw up the results. But this is barely a scientific enterprise anyway. Might as well stop pretending. Huh. Maybe this tank is just empty. There we go. Alright, I don't know how long it's been. It's only been a few minutes, but we're already seeing a lot of glowing in there. That's good. That's why I like this uh, setting that I use for copper. It heats up in a hurry. It's 36 out here. It's mighty chilly. The side of that thing is all the way up to 59 degrees Fahrenheit. And inside the furnace is air roar. It's getting an awful lot quieter. I wonder if this tank is freezing so quickly. Yep, that tank is freezing. Okay, that invalidates our time thing. That's better. And, and it's melting already. Okay, yep, insufficient pressure. You know, they say putting a big chunk of something into a melt is a good way to freeze your melt, but I don't think I'm going to have that problem here. These are feeding in probably an inch, an inch down every three seconds or so. Make that an inch every two seconds or so. That's taking this real quick. I don't think this crucible is big enough for all of this. I, I still have more of this aluminum and it's already filling up the crucible. Not a lot of dross. 
Well, well, let's see what we got. Barely any dross. See, that's the advantage of melting aluminum very quickly. There isn't a lot of time for the dross to form. But I filled this crucible up very quickly. I don't even know if I have enough space in this ingot tray for all these. That was only about half of my extruded aluminum that I have yet to melt. I don't melt it that often because, you know, you don't really need a lot of it for, for alloying. Yeah, that's all of it. Barely any dross. That's why you want to melt your aluminum as quickly as possible in a neutral flame. Cool. That's all the dross I had. That's it. Well, that was a success if I've ever seen one. Still 76 degrees Fahrenheit, the real degrees. And we're back! So, that was pretty quick, huh? Six minutes! Six minutes! So that means we kind of have a, a tie going. The closest was my wife, uh, with six minutes. Exactly, she was off by like four seconds. But she kind of had insider information. She didn't know how long it was because I didn't figure it out until days after she made that guess. But I did talk to her about how quick it was when I walked indoors. So I'm going to throw her results out entirely, uh, as well as my potential chances to sleep in my own bed tonight, which might not be a wise decision. But anyways, the two closest after that were Tobo Mott at 7 minutes and Blackbeard Projects at 5 minutes. Uh, Tobo Mott's a little closer by a few seconds. Blackbeard was the closest without going over if you want to go by Price's Right rules. But let's find out what it weighs. Here we go, I got my little Martha Stewart scale. These are very large bricks. Very large, solid bricks, but they are aluminum. So let's see. Drum roll, please. Come on. You're screwing, you're screwing me up here. Da, 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 da. Four pounds, 8.4 ounces. So four and a half pounds, which means the closest is, hang on, that one, Mataz Ferro, I don't know how to pronounce that. Two kilos is 4.4 pounds. You are the closest. Good work. Unfortunately, there are no prizes. So, uh, yeah. Now, most people guessed way more than this, uh, including like Blackbeard, who I said should be keyed in here, but he guessed four kilograms, which is a little more than double. Him, kilograms, him and his metric. But remember, this is aluminum. It's very lightweight. I'm going to go grab some bronze and see how much four and a half pounds is. That's one pound, two pounds, three pounds. 3.1, 4, okay, that's too much, 4.5. 4 so this weighs almost as much as this. So that gives you a sense of just how dense bronze is compared to aluminum. It's also kind of cool to see the color differences, eh? Anyways, thank you all for watching. I will see you next time.